Hey, it's a cold and windy day here in uh, West Michigan where the snow continues to fly, but at least it's, uh, it's kind of stopped for a little bit. We have a little bit of break in the weather and some sunshine came out, otherwise it's been uh, lots and lots of snow here with temperatures uh, well below zero and uh, also wind chills down to 27, 30 degrees below zero as well. But hey, um, that's Michigan. We haven't had this kind of weather in a long time, so it's very interesting that we have it now. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. You're looking at part four of a shamrock spider and her egg sac. Enjoy and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Hi. I'm uh, doing a little review on the uh, spiders that I um, had this summer. In particular, I'm doing a, uh, a look at the shamrock spider that uh, I caught in the field and uh, one, uh, one common garden spider. And uh, I have, uh, I checked the females out, they've been, I took them inside. I didn't want to leave them out in the cold to die with their egg sacs, so I uh, put the egg sacs in a container what you have right over here, I'll show you that in just a moment. And I also brought the females in just to give them a, uh, a nicer death, so to speak, versus the cold outdoors. It's, oh, it's getting into the uh, latter part of November and getting mighty cold outside, or starting to get mighty cold anyway. And uh, their life expectancy would have been uh, uh, gone a long time by now. But I brought them in the house just to feed them some water and um, they weren't going to eat anything, I knew that, but just wanted to make them comfortable in their uh, last few days. And, um, or actually it's been four weeks now since they laid their egg sacs, and uh, I'm going to check on them here this morning and see how they're doing. What you're looking at is two uh, females who have laid their uh, eggs and made their their egg sacs for the winter, and they are um, on the road to dying. Very thin, very shriveled, not a whole lot of uh, energy left, no desire to eat. Here is their uh, their eggs. You can kind of see that in there. I'm going to be transferring this uh, egg sac to a clearer vessel that I can observe come spring when the little spiderlings hatch out. So that's one of the... Uh, the egg sacs, and here's the other one. It's kind of a messy jar, but uh, this is what uh, what it looks like. And you can see that egg sac right there at the bottom of the jar. And I'll be transferring that one as well, so that uh, come spring we'll have at least three egg sacs I want to observe as the spiderlings hatch out. So uh, should be some good uh, some good shots come springtime. I'm going to start by taking off of the taking off this uh, cellophane wrap that. I put on this container so we can see them better. I did this because they've been out in the garage keeping nice and cold, um, getting ready for their spring hatch. So we don't want them to hatch too early, so we gotta keep them nice and cold. And I wanted to put this wrapping on to keep dirt and dust uh, as much as possible off of the, the plastic so I can film later in the spring without having to have to clean all this up a little later on. Now I'll get a little lighting set up so we can get a better, closer look at these eggs. Here's a nice look at the egg uh, with some extra lighting on it to make it a little clearer. And that dark orange yellow area is the actual egg cluster itself. And then of course the very protective special webbing that the spider uses encases that uh, egg sac, uh, which is really strong fibrous uh, webbing. And then here's the other egg sac being backlit. And finally the third one. All healthy egg sacs and um, should produce some good spiderlings in the spring. And here's both the ladies. saying hello to each other <laughs> and hopefully they won't get into any kind of a ruckus 
didn't want that. I wouldn't allow that. But just wanted to see them up close. As they end the, come to the end of their lives. Still making web. They're making their drag threads. <laughs> there goes one right now. <laughs> Still very active for the lack of protein um, that they have in their bodies. Very impressed. Quite shriveled. But nonetheless, they're still very active. Take care now. Bye.